Hello everyone. Congratulations that you have completed almost 50% of this whole project. So everything from 1 to 5, you know, uh, site selection, preparation, build base, that's um, what I have. And then the structure and the roof and wall, those are covered in the um, Amazon Shed Kit uh, menu. So starting from step 6 to step 10, it's fully it's really not covered by the shed kit installation. So I have to do lots of research on, on that. And uh, I believe the probably the most difficult one is install the vinyl siding. And um, you can see the, the back side and left side is relatively easy because it's whole piece. You don't need to do a lot of cutting. And the right side, is a little bit difficult because you need to cut a hole and install the intake vent. The front, a little bit complication here because you need to install the door frames first and there's many cuts on the vinyl siding. So that will make it a little complicated. Okay, so in this video I'll cover the vinyl siding which is a waterproofing of um, this, um, this shed, okay? Okay, first of all, in this stage, you will need to buy some kind of uh, construction paper. You can see here, that's a, that's a paper. You also need to buy a hammer stapler, um, which is very common. You can buy it anywhere, Home Depot, Cleaning Tire. I bought this guy. I find it's very easy to use. You can, you can hammer it in. For example, you have a, a staple and then you just hammer it and then the water basically will stick on the wall. So that's a step one, put the paper on. This is uh, one layer of um, waterproofing, okay? Uh, after you put uh, the paper, then you can install this one, it's called corner post, okay? So install the corner post, that's also not very difficult, but uh, I will show you two YouTube videos I researched and you can follow the instruction on that, right? After you install the corner post and a paper, then you can do the vinyl siding. But in the vinyl siding installation, you need to first install the starter strip. The starter strip is where you start to, um, to install the vinyl siding, which is the first strip that's usually on the bottom. Okay, install the starter strip at the bottom. And then you need to install the J channel. I give you an idea what is J channel. Because of its shape, that's why it's called the J channel, right? So you have the starter strip in the bottom and you have the J channel on the top and then you have um, corner post, you know, one on the left, one to the right. And then it forms a frame, okay? Once you have that frame, then you can cut measure and cut the vinyl siding then you install the vinyl siding so after everything is complete it looks like this this is um, a picture of the back side so left side the easiest the back side relatively easy so you can finish this one pretty much um, uh, pretty quickly okay next step you know I, I struggle a little bit because of this um, complicated complication um, but uh, after, you know, after my thinking, I think it's uh, still better to have an intake vent, right? So uh, you, you may not need to install it because you think it's too small a shed. And uh, yeah, I, I just feel to make this project a little bit more perfect, I would like to, you know, have the wind coming in and, and uh, you know, going out so that, you know, it has a good smell in the, in the shed, right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to cut a hole on the right side wall. So in this stage, I used this guy. This is called the angle grinder, angle grinder, right? So you can see I cut it from inside, right? Uh, when, I, when I cut it, actually, you can see um, you see those two red dots, that's, that's almost, uh, because the speed of the gr grinder, it, it actually kind of burned and uh, have a little fire 
in it. So, so for your safety, you know, maybe to put a, a little bit of um, a water bottle just in case. <laughs> I don't want to burn your shed. Okay, so cut it, and uh, after you cut it, it looks like this. And then you also need to put, um, you know, cut a small piece of the J channel was inside, you know, inside this inside this vent. And then you use the glue, you glue the vent into the wall. Then you use um, use the glue. You can have it in the Home Depot. After that, you cut the pieces, and then you can install the vinyl siding. Uh, again, as I said, um, it's always whenever it, there is an edge or something like that, you you have to install the edge first. So you see, we have edge here, we have edge here, and. Uh, here we have an edge on the top so that water doesn't come in to your wall, right? It goes to your second protection of the waterproofing, go to the water. You want, hopefully, the vinyl siding will protect you know, 90% of the wall uh, water from coming in, okay? So that's the right side of the wall. Next is uh, install the vinyl siding on the front. This one is probably most difficult. You can see we have to install the door frame first. Once you have the door frame, right? Again, as I said, you have to have edges prepared already. So this one, after you install the door frame, you have to install the starter strip here, starter strip here, and also the J channel to the left, J channel to the right. So in this way, your vinyl siding have two edges already have a kind of gap that you can insert in, right? So J channel is a must have, right? So after that, you install this, install the vinyl siding up to here. And then the next step is you need to install the front door. You need to make the front door. So this entire door, you know, a couple of pieces here and um, you just installed it and you paint it so that it's waterproofing and then you install the front door. So here I want to mention this to you is that uh, I have a recommendation that it's better to have um, have a helper that help you lift the door or maybe you put some uh, wood here just just make sure it's stand straight right and um, sometimes uh, I trimmed uh, many times to make sure the door actually fit in the door frame. So I highly recommend, this is really a two-man work, um, have a helper, help you to lift the door and holding everything right, and then you can install this uh, bracket thing to hold the door. So this is quite strong, right? So after we install it, you know, the door is finished. And then you have to cut little pieces, you know, to its shape, then I call it, um, you know, install the vinyl siding in the uh, gable. Gable is the area that under the rafter. Okay, so that's a little bit, um, need a little bit of cutting. So one tip I want to tell you is um, that you can use, I find it's quite useful, you can use this um, angle grinder to cut the vinyl siding. Uh, I just like it very much. Some people use the hand tools. Um, I feel that uh, that angle grinder very useful. It's it's very easy and cut really straight. Okay, so that's that. And now that uh, once you have the waterproofing for the walls, and then it's a bit easier for you to cover because again you don't have the roof yet. So I suggest you put um, a, a vapor vapor barrier to cover your roof. So because uh, when I install this, this is almost, uh, I believe it's in December already, and you don't want to snows, you know, on your roof, and you don't want to rain. Okay, so this will soak your wood, and uh, it will create uh, a lot of problem in the future, right? So make sure you cover it with the uh, vapor barrier. Okay, so actually the little tip here is once you put the vapor um vapor barrier you can use this hammer guy you can use this um stapler to staple them 
to the wood, right? And um, so you can see again, as I mentioned, uh, you, I don't want you to install this uh, shed really in December or November. You can see it's uh, it's quite windy. You know, it it basically flipped my vapor barrier to the top and flying everywhere. So the best time, I believe, is still sometime from September to November. Just just uh, finish it before the winter come. Okay. So this covers the vinyl siding part. I have I will list all these YouTube videos that I researched. Uh, total of um, total six of them in my description area. So you will need to look at those things um, because um, I think my video is a high level steps and for the little details you need to look at that to, to make sure that you install it uh, properly. Um, one little tip about the, the vinyl siding is when you install this you need to always make sure that you hear a sound of click. You know this is um, you pull it up and then you can you can you need to hear a click sound and this makes sure that uh, all the vinyl sidings and this piece and the next piece is uh, biting together uh, nicely and firmly okay so I have to do some rework because uh, when I install the right side uh, vinyl siding I hear the click but when I install the left side I didn't really hear hear that so I have to redo my left left side after I hear the click sound of the right side wall. So, okay, so this covers everything for the vinyl siding part. So you almost finish, if you uh, go through these steps and finish the vinyl siding, you are basically 60 or 70%. So that's a very, very difficult part. Okay, congratulations and um, thank you for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.